August Bush, the energetic owner of the St. Louis Cardinals, and his daughter arrive early for the second game. Orlando Cepeda, cleanup slugger of the Cardinals, takes some practice swings. Warren Giles, National League president for 16 years, exudes his usual confidence. The Cardinals loosen up with a snappy pregame infield practice. After the umpires review the ground rules, the Red Sox go charging onto the field, eager for a victory that would square the series. Shouldering the biggest responsibility will be Jim Lonvoy, who is starting for Boston. The towering 24-year-old, six-foot, five-inch hurler has been the stopper for the Red Sox all season, winning 22 games and losing only nine. With two out in the Cardinal second, Lomborg shows his stuff, and Shannon strikes out. Dick Hughes, the St. Louis starter, topped the Cardinal staff this year with a 16 and six record. In the Boston second, Adair flies to left. And Brock spears the ball with a high leaping catch. His momentum carries him against the wall before he can stop. Let's rerun the play in slow motion. Brock's leap not only is high, but also far, as if he's doing a broad jump. Carl Yastrzemski opens for the Red Sox in the fourth. He takes a terrific cut at Hughes' first pitch, but misses. Hughes fires another pitch. This time, Yaz doesn't miss. He connects so solidly, everybody in the park knows it's gone. Yaz goes into his home run trot around the bases, and it's a familiar one, since the star slugger walloped 44 out of the park during the season. Elston Howard comes up with two men on and two out. And Howard smashes one through the middle. Javier makes a diving stop, an unbelievable play. Then he scrambles to his knees and tosses the ball to Maxville for a force out. Boston now leads one to nothing. The Red Sox added another run in the sixth. With one out in the seventh, Lomborg has retired 19 in succession. Not a man has reached base. And now he faces Kurt Flood. He goes to a three and two count and then walks Flood on a low outside pitch. That ends Lomborg's chances for a perfect game, but he still has a no hitter going. In the Red Sox seventh, Jose Tartable and Dalton Jones are on base with nobody out when Yastrzemski loosens up for another turn at bat. Lefty Joe Harner is the new Cardinal pitcher. Yaz steps into the batter's box, wiping his hands dry. Harner pitches, and Yastrzemski really ties into this one. It's a way back over the bullpen and into the bleachers for his second home run of the day. Tartable and Jones score. Tartable, Jones, and Scott, the next batter, greet him at the plate. And he gets another welcome. Carl Yastrzemski's three-run homer has expanded the Boston lead to five to nothing. Jim Lonborg, pitching brilliantly, has been a complete mystery to the Cardinals. He still has a no-hitter with two out in the eighth, and Julian and Javier coming up. Javier pulls Lonborg's first pitch into the left field corner for a double, and that wrecks the no-hitter. As Lomborg warms up in the ninth, he still has a one-hit shutout, and the crowd gives him a big hand. He retires the first two, and is one out away from victory with flooded back. Lomborg looks in for the catcher's sign. Jim pitches, and Flood lifts a fly to center. The Reggie Smith grabs, and Boston wins five to nothing. The Red Sox swarm around Lomborg, who has pitched one of the five greatest games in World Series history. Only one better was Don Larson's perfect game 
and have been three other one-hitters. But the big gun offensively was Jaspensky with his two homers.